Okay, on that run, you can hear me roll off the throttle right here and then get back on the throttle. Here's what's interesting about the taco is that the Lambda, see that 12.72, that's our air fuel. Hear me roll off the throttle there. But we are still stinking rich, according to the Lambda, all the way through there. That was a 200 jet, and we were making 41 horsepower with that jet back this summer. And uh, the air is a whole lot better in the winter time. And so we made several changes to the taco. Pulled the gas tank off, went to a smaller gas tank, ended up checking the fuel flow through the bowls. We have 700 milliliters per minute now. We added a vent. My buddy Joseph recommended that quarter inch vent made a huge difference when I tested all that. So that was a big deal. So this was our last run with that same team. And you could hear Bill say they wanted to shut off. Well, we were having that problem with every single one of our runs. So here is our 45.5 wheel horsepower with 30 pounds of torque run. And here's the Lambda, look at it. We're at 14 at 75. Let's see if I can get that, okay. We're 14, 14, 14. The 13, 13, five at 8,000. And then we taper off 13.25. So we add, we go up a jet size to 220, and now we are leaner. We're adding more fuel than we were before. And our other dyno runs were, were fatter, were richer. Why? Why? What is happening in that whole combustion process in the taco that when you add more fuel, it's making you leaner?